All right, guys, what's up? An update. We're almost done. Well, not almost done. We need one day to, for everything to cure, uh, to set. And um, let's just talk about the Tiki. All right, this is something I'm looking to buy, guys. I love the Tiki. It is just a gorgeous gun. It's unique. It stands out. It's small and compact, and I, I want the black gold version. So I'm hoping it doesn't sell out, but I can see it's, it's still, you know, it's, it's a pre-order. Uh, shipping starts November 25th. Uh, never, okay, all right. Shiny black early of December. Okay, but like, I'm excited for this. So I'm once again, guys, I'm always going to be thankful for customers that will let me uh, you know, do uh, public videos, you know, otherwise it would have just been a private video between me and him, but so, uh, it is interesting, guys, this is the, the 2020, uh, 2024 version, and you can always you can tell by, and we, we talked about in the last video, I showed you guys the difference between the original one and then the 2024 version, what's interesting is this one feels like it's heavier, so what I want to do right now is we have it naked, we got rid of the, um, the burr right here, you guys can see. Uh, you can still feel it, but I don't want to hit it anymore. The reality is all we need to do is just get it enough so it wasn't doing this. What I want to show you guys is when you get conversion kits, you have to look at everything. And guys, this happens, okay? It's just, I have done this so many times to my own shit. It's insane how many kits I've ruined uh, over the years. And guys, I, I grew up with no, there was no YouTube airsoft shit for me okay we had to learn the hard way and i was paying you know i'd be working chores and uh, get a little job here and there and i'd save up and i'd get a you know fifteen hundred dollars and i just ruined that shit i'd be oh you just wanted to smash it because uh, shit wasn't lining up and working in it you know this it takes time to learn this stuff and the only thing i can we always shout out is thanks to you know the customer and everybody is we can try to at least help you guys if you buy the kit, you know what to look for. And that's, you know, I feel bad. But that's why I'm also trying to catch up to all the companies, guys. I'm I, I'm tapped out right now financially, so I, I can't buy anything for quite some time. But we are going to try to get all uh, Bomber. We'll try to get Bomber. We'll try to get Dr. Black, uh, Savia, uh, Next Speed. I think there's like five more companies we will target. Well, and then I feel like I'm caught up and then at least I can try to kind of help you guys. You know, if you buy them, you kind of know what to look for. So first thing is guys, you have to remember, this is, this is a combination of two different companies. Nova slash Bomber has grips. They have their own grips. They have their own safeties and everything. All right, let me show you guys, okay? This is uh, Boom Arms. I, I love this website, and I, he's uh, done a great job with the redesign. I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm nostalgic, and I, uh, before he had the option to look at the old site, and I'll, I'll use the old site sometimes just to feel like the old time. But, um, so let me show you guys. How do we, uh, menu, search, you're going to type in Nova, okay? We'll type in Nova Grip, for example. They have some sexy looking grips. Okay, and you can see quickly, they have plastic grips, they have, you can see right here, they have safeties, okay, once again, I, I don't know compatibility, but this is staying within Nova, this is all AM here, we got a lot of AM here, AM, AM, um, I think the hammer is AM, I think this is garter, he switched this to garter, um, okay, I mean, I'll check the, the chat, but um, let's just see. Let me show you. They have metal grips, guys. And they're not like $300. You know, I'll say they're actually, you know, you can see right here. Look at that. G, uh, G10. That is 205. And I know they have some, uh, let's see, what are the CNC metal grips? Okay, another gorgeous ones. I was thinking about that for a Tiki build. 205. Okay, well, they, they had them somewhere. But anyways, look, Nova has stuff. You could get, like, you could type in Nova hop-up unit. Uh, let's just type in hop. See? Okay. 
Now, this is, to me, I'm not going to lie, this is outdated as hell. All right, I, I actually, this is old, and that's the old Nova logo. I don't know if they updated the logo, but that's some old shit. It, I have this one. This is, uh, the Airsoft Surgeon made it, uh, uh, oh, man, the Airsoft Surgeon blue one. Okay, I'm sorry, getting sidetracked. Anyways, look, guys, so the reason why I say stuff like that is because look at this, you know, I have no clue if this is, you know, from like just maybe tolerance issues or how it's designed, but damn, I was like, damn, already? But then again, I don't know how many shots he has into this. This obviously isn't like brands make and do, but it just came out like a month ago. So, but you know, someone can put a lot of rounds in it fast, okay? And we can see from here that he had to modify the grip to fit into the frame. So once again, once you start going outside of a company, you know, and you get, in, get different companies, then you, you know, you might have issues. Okay. And you can see from here, look on t underneath, it's a pretty tight fit. So once again, they did a pretty good job of working to get that in here. And God, that had to be annoying. And it's also scary. I mean, like, think about it, guys. You, you got a $300 grip here that you have to sand to fit into a $460 frame. So it's it's something that's always scary for sure. And I want you guys to make sure, you know, just give it a, your best shot. And I will always try to help you guys as much as I can. Uh, first thing, look. Whenever you buy a conversion kit, and if you're going to install a metal grip or any type of grip, you always want to take a look at the screw. That You guys see what the hole is? Okay, I'm going to cover it with a finger. Okay, you guys see it? Focus, focus. Okay, good. So you want to pull the slide as far as you can go back. Okay, and you quickly, you guys will realize, look at that. This is covering that hole. So you need... You need clearance, okay? And we can see where the damage came from, okay? You guys, it's, it's obvious, and when you look at the screw, and it's not, once again, you're, you're getting an AM grip with a Nova frame, okay? Let's just put the screw in here. You guys will see. Okay, you guys see? Focus. Okay. It doesn't sit flush. It's just, it's, there is not enough room, okay? So even, you can see, you guys see how it stops? Look, it's stopping. I can't pull it, okay? So we have to find a screw. Thankfully, you know, I've been, I've been doing airsoft for quite some time. This is just one of my screw boxes. Uh, you know, we can try to find something that has a smaller hat. If we can't, is it the end of the world? No, it's not. Either A is is I don't want to waste you know I don't want to waste uh, customers' time and money. Okay, is I tell them hey, okay I'm going to tell you in the video you can take this screw and go to a local hardware store. There's going to be a hardware store. Um, user you want metric. Okay guys, that's where it's a little difficult. But you take the screw, you go in there, and you get something that has a smaller head. You want something that's smaller and thin. Now I'm going to look. And I'm going to try to find one if I can just help him. But if I can't, you know, realistically, you can order on Amazon or you can just, you know, go to the local hardware store. But that's something I'll usually tell the customer to do because it's not the end of the world. Will this gun function with two grip screws? Yes, it will. Okay, do you want all three to be uh, on there tight? Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> do I have guns without a lot of the screws in the front? Yeah, I, I do, okay? <laughs> so it's not the end of the world. Okay, so always, whenever you guys are buying, even, look, even if you buy, if, if, I tell you guys, when I get the Tiki, we are going to get the, the, the Nova grip. We're going to try to get as much Nova as we can to see how they are, how the quality is, uh, how it works all together, if it's good or not. Um, you know, we'll have to figure out there's different generations of those grips because you, you never know. It's, it's too much work. I, I, I don't know anyone that's friends with Nova. I've never had anyone that's been I've never really yeah I've actually never talked to anyone from Nova or like behind the scenes I don't know much about them I've only airsoft masterpieces because Alpha Airsoft I'm friends with Alpha Airsoft um, you know they're the first ones that gave me a chance to buy from them 
and uh, that's just been a journey. I miss those guys. Um, anyways, look, even if it's the same company, you just want to, con the concept is you just want to check everything. You want to go nice and slow, and that's the whole point is, you know, maybe build the lower. Okay, if something isn't fitting, you figure out why is it not working. And then you try to just look at it, and you do visual inspections. Okay, get the grip, the lower frame done, and then try to put on the, uh, the slide. And if you realize, hey, I, I can't pull this, or it's hitting the screw, then you know, you'll save yourself the headache of, you know, um, getting uh, damages like this. Now, there's just some damages you cannot avoid, okay? Wear and tear to the outer barrel is just so common. It's, it's normal. It's part of it. Um, however, this, I'm more interested in. Um, and you know what that is, guys. That's, that's this sucker right here. That's this sucker just smacking it. So, I'm just, I'm surprised... The other thing that I'm a little curious about is I don't know where these these marks came from. I don't know if that's just like if it's just from, but there's clearance here. So there's some interesting marks on here. I just I don't know if it's just you know from the building it or whatever it is. But uh, next thing, guys, is and you guys know from the last video, everything needs to be Loctite, okay? And we're gonna Loctite that. And, okay, other thing we found out, this is probably another thing I wanna talk about too. That's why I wanna do this video, cause we're not, we're not done with this gun, okay? We gotta let it sit overnight. I gotta let it Loctite and then I'll, then we'll do the third video. So we'll get a third video. I'm pretty sure he got this nozzle from, let's see, let's do a new tab, evike, let's type dynamic precision, this is called, I had to google it guys, I had to research, <laughs> and I'm like, once again, uh, I, I feel bad, you know, look at that, it's still UAC, that's funny, they haven't even updated it. Uh, and this is sort by price because probably I don't know how much. Yeah, there you go. Look at that, guys. $85. Okay, who gave this a five star? Uh, I'm not going to read that. All right, listen, listen. So, what sucks is from this picture. And I'm, I don't know the video. We're not going to watch the video. But from this picture, if you don't know anything about nozzles, because remember the last video, guys, when I told you I was looking at it and I could see from the inside, I was like, man, that doesn't look right. If you don't know anything about nozzles, you're not going to know which way to put it. Okay? So I understand it's not, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's tough. It's, it's, their soft world's tough. And I feel bad, but there's not there's only so much I can do. But what I'm going to tell you guys is, if you can, if the website has, if the if the airsoft company has a website, try to research it. Okay, try to go to that website if they have one. Not all of them have it. Okay, but Dynamic Precision does. So does Cow Cow. They they used to be UAC. They split into two, and they had, I think they had a little fight. But they've always kind of kept the same concept on their page. So I was scrolling down and I was scrolling down and lo and behold, take a look at it guys. You can tell the spring was not on the correct way and then we're missing a screw. Okay, so with that being said, we look, we, we saw most of the stuff was not locked tight. And that's okay, it should happen guys. But you know, that's why we have to thank this customer because you know, one, this is an expensive lesson, but at the same time, now we can go, we can move going forward. Anytime we build something, Boom, we're just gonna get wiser, okay? And that's what I'm here to help you guys with. So, first of all, I'm not, and he knows, and everybody else knows, if you're on this channel, I do not like aluminum loading nozzles or anything aluminum in general. I think they're fun for what they are, and sometimes I'll use like the RCC Powerball for, you know, some crazy FPS builds, and, uh, but I think the loading nozzles is something that is meant to be 
uh, plastic. Now, that's just my opinion on it. You guys can do what you want with that, but I honestly think this is going to snap. Okay, I actually think this will snap down the road, and it sucks. This is $85, but you guys can see. Remember when we pulled this out? It was the wrong way. Okay. This matters. This is this is going to be huge. So I want to see, and I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm actually kind of curious about this. Lord, you know, so I've been gone for for five years, and this is probably one of the crazier designs I've come back to. I'm like, oh shit, this is very unique. So I'm actually genuinely curious how this works. And you're gonna laugh, guys. You want to guess what, Lord, you know, so I have in here? <laughs> Here I am, shit talking about. I tell you guys, I always, I will always test it and give everything a fair chance. <laughs> All right, so you know, there's a reason why I can shit talk it. It's because I bought them all myself a long time ago. I was guys, you know what the one of the earliest ones was? Um, we Tech. We Tech was one of the earliest lum aluminum nozzles. I'm pretty sure. If you know We Tech, let me know. All right, but um, so what probably happened is is shooting it that first screw flew out. Okay, so we're gonna put let's put this back together. Let me find a screw, and we're gonna lock tight these suckers. Okay. And it's just man, you got, they're eighty five bucks, guys. That is almost a hundred bucks. Eighty five bucks, I can buy a shit ton of ZCI nozzles and not worry about them breaking. Uh, you know what, I think I I have to go get my other box of screws. Uh, oh. I thought I saw one just now. There's one. All right, let's see this. Yeah, I think I just found one. All right, we're in business, guys. We got it. Okay. Let me let these dry, guys. I need to get a clean towel. Um, guys, that's just rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, and it's just to help. I want to. You, you don't need it technically, guys. If you use 243, it does well against um, uh, greases and lubricants and all that shit. But I'm just doing anything I can to. Uh, Really, really get that sucker to stay in. Cause these guys, <laughs> guys, I've loctited these suckers before the UAC ones, and um, I even have, you know what's funny? I even bought, I, I'm like an idiot. I bought the AAP ones. And I, I didn't even unbox it. So hey, look, if anybody wants an AAP uh, cow cow load, uh, aluminum loading nozzle, let me know. I'll sell it. I'll sell it at a discount. I just, you know, I bought it and I was like looking at it. It's like, you know what? I don't even want to review this damn thing. But this one, I, I got to admit, I'm curious about it, guys. The internals is definitely different. I'm wondering, is this, you know, just based on concept, high flow, low flow? Uh, the one thing I will say is the window, man, it's just, uh, look at the window. Okay, it's a flat surface, not curved. You know, so uh, I wonder if it's going to have consistency, uh, consistency, uh, geez, consistency problems. Okay, so let's get this guy in. Okay. Yeah, see, you don't see. You notice how the spring is not sticking out through it, the guys. The spring was like, remember here? It was like in the first. I could, you could literally pull it through. So, but it, you know, that's, 
you know, you guys have to do research, okay? That's just the reality, is you gotta do some research. And, um, cause you know, on e-bike, it does, you can't really tell, hey, which way is the right way, you know? And I don't know if it, on the package, if they have instructions or not, you know? But we have to assume that there's no instructions and if you don't like uh, just understand you know, kind of like basics of my nozzles, you know, it's hard to figure out which ways to put it the right way. Guys, to this day, I still don't know which way to put recoil springs sometimes, honestly. I'm, I'm like, it, you know what's funny? And I know there's guys that know everything about springs, you know, and like uh, those are the, man, that's a whole nother ball field. Getting this in, it's a little more pain in the ass than I expected. Expected. Right, so I gotta line up this this uh, thing in here. How about I push down on the valve reset? <laughs> Guys, this is a little, it's a little tough actually. This is, I think this is, it's almost because if you, it's at an angle. I need something really fucking thin. Uh, well, this is not thin, but. Shit, we'll just try again. Uh, this is the smallest one I have. This is, you know, what's funny, guys. I've I've learned. <laughs> I'll admit, okay, look, guys. In life, I'm uh, I'm a pretty patient person. Uh, my friends in my group will uh, call me like the monk sometimes because I have a lot of patience, and it takes a lot. You know, if you know what Samoan is, you know, it takes a lot to piss off an islander. Once we're pissed, that's it. But uh, airsoft help me more, uh, learn even more patience. <laughs> oh, shit. So, look, guys, it's a good practice of uh, getting patient and just, just put on some music and have a good time. You know, we're doing something that we, we have the luxury to uh, to do, and, you know, it's, uh, it's something that's just fun. So, just... I know it can be frustrating and shit sometimes, but just give it your best, and <laughs> if you need a break, take a break. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't want to make you guys sit here for this. I can tell. I'm like, oh, shit. This is going to take me a time to... Can I got it to get lined up. Okay, so uh, I just want to do a quick update. Wait. Let's wait in before we, we end the video, okay? Because I want to know the wait. I bet some people want to know the wait as well. All right, here is the beautiful Infinity Oh, man, they did a nice job on the lettering. It's even better. 65.4. Pretty light. That's 65.4 grams, guys. Its frame is naked frame, though. 78.7. Okay, it's a light gun, guys. Let's see how much this... This is a complete grip. 165. Okay, let's see how much mine weighs. 527. I'm not going to bother weighing that one because that's all steel. And you guys can see this is, uh, I, I kept this on because this is HSP. This is how we got our chrono tags back in the day. And, uh, I don't know, man. My friends told me that HSP is only like once a week now or something. I don't know. I was sad. And I want to go see it eventually. 
Okay, uh, guys, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna lock tight everything. And uh, we're gonna start rebuilding this. So the next video you see, hopefully, we're gonna be test shooting it, okay? And um, let me see, we, we talked since the last video and I think his main goal he asked me to was, let's see, what was his main goal? Okay, main goal is, uh, I just want the project to have a super tight seal and be snappy. Now, here's the thing that you know we're going to talk about in the third video, um, but maybe we'll we'll talk about it now. Is first of all, he's you know I always ask whenever I get someone's um, gun or whatever they use, you got to let me know what mags you have. So. The only problem is he's got three different companies, okay? And I'll tell you guys right now, and, I'll, and I'm going to tell him, but I think I usually say, if you're trying to build something like a system, like an ecosystem around one gun, you want to keep the same mags, okay? I understand we're all going to want to explore and everything, but what happens is when you, and he sent me pictures, by the way. Uh, okay, he picked up... He picked up uh, Lisa Savia, and I told him, hey, you know, I haven't bought Savia, so I don't know how those work. You know, I don't know if they work well, but the only thing I can tell him, I told him, like, what I want is a top picture, and I want a side picture, okay? So we can see from the top and from the side, it's, you know, slightly up there, slightly aggressive. For example, if you look at the TM one, look carefully, you guys can see they're different so who knows maybe this zombie one might be a better fit for him than the TM one so that's one thing in particular but then he also has pro wins okay and you can tell by the finish always look at the finish and it's the easiest way to identify them and then you know they they're dick as they made the uh, the top proprietary you'll see right now he's got their proprietary versions okay you can always tell by this now if you know pro wins oh my god pro wins are very different let me show you guys my pro wins okay yeah. this is pro win but these are my custom mags that i did a long time ago okay look at that so look at the side profile all right you can tell it's rounded so out of the three savia is probably the most aggressive looking so only thing i can do is that i think the fpr was and i was telling him i was like man these kind of look like the fpr mags i have which are right here but you guys can see they're not look at that look at that this one this is that this one has like a concave okay look at the top extremely different and different window ports so what I want you guys to understand is make sure if you're going to try to get something snappy and, and everything and if you don't want to spend money just you know go hit up your friends and you know I, you know try to see try out as many different mags as you can and make sure it's a fair test meaning you put 30 seconds gas in each one but the problem is, you know, some of them fill in differently. So I don't know if that's even a good test, but make sure that, you know, they all had time to sit, temperature, make sure it's a fair, and then, you know, shoot like 10 shots and then, you know, try to get a feel for it. And some of them might be better, some might be worse. Look how different these are. They're all going to change how good your performance is with your gun okay at the end of the day you know Kane is always going to be HPA but I gotta admit guys I'm not an HPA guy I'm always going to be I love reloading I love just carrying max it just it feels fun it feels cool but they the propane green gas all this shit sucks as compared to HPA for consistency snappiness and all this stuff because you can just change it on a dial and it's you know it's clean okay so you know, there's always so much we can do if we don't have, you know, all the mags to test out. So, I can, I'm going to be able to, the good thing is, I have a lot of mags I can test. And what we'll do in the next video, we're going to shoot Prowin, his TM, 
the FPR, and we'll see whatever other mag I can throw in here to, to test, and we'll be like, okay, hey, this works good, hey, this doesn't work good, and the reality is when he gets it home, he will check himself too, okay? All right, uh, I think that's it, guys, so let me work on building this. I'm going to blast the music. I want to get this done, and we'll see you tomorrow because we're going to let this cure for 24 hours before we touch anything on here, okay? And once again, guys, shout out to the customer, okay? Uh, it's always, this is always good to help out everybody, and it's also interesting to see what the kit is, and it's like, it looks like it's a really good job. I, I'm impressed with the 2024 version. Uh, I'm digging it, okay? Uh, the only thing I'm a little worried about, and I, I don't know if it was just, you know, maybe on accident, but I don't know if these were damaged or that's just how they were. But like that's something you guys need to take with a grain of salt. We don't know how many rounds was put through this. Okay. Um, you know, and it shit happens. Okay. I'll see you guys around. Take it easy.